Hey guys, Anthony Mann here from A Social Strategy. And in this week's article, I wanted to discuss cheap leads that convert. So there are many different types of leads that you can get in your business. I want to discuss a little bit about quality versus quantity leads. In many cases, agents make the mistake of only wanting perfectly qualified and quality leads up front. This leads to a lot of issues, especially when building your long-term business. If you think about it this way, when you only get leads that are converting in the short term, it leaves your entire pipeline unfilled. Now, of course we need to make commissions in the short term, but it's very important to also generate leads that might be a month, three months, six months, and 12 months away from buying and keeping them on some sort of drip campaign in order to ensure that when they are ready to buy, you're their only person that they would ever think to purchase with. That goes for sellers too. A seller may not be ready to sell for a year, two, or even three years down the line. In some cases, you might even get a seller that's ready to sell today. But either way, it's really important to have systems in place that allow you to nurture these people for the, both the short and the long term. So how do you generate these different types of leads? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use what we call in digital marketing, bait. Now there's two main types of bait that we use in real estate. We use buyer bait and we use seller bait. Seller bait is something that we can do like a home evaluation ad, simply asking people if they would like to know the value of their home. An example of buyer bait might be something as simple as seven secrets to save thousands while financing your home. Now, there are hundreds of examples of these types of bait, and I've made note of a couple of them inside of this week's article. Now, once you've generated these leads, you got to know what to do with them. First and foremost, I really hope that you're using some sort of CRM or database management in order to keep track of all of the leads that you are generating, both on social media, through the major portals, and through direct referrals by either mail, postcard, or word of mouth. Now, no matter where these people enter your pipeline, it's really important to get them on the correct follow-up sequence from the start. Now, the way to do that is to simply qualify them up front. Whether you're using an ISA or you're personally doing it yourself, it's important to ask the right qualifying questions that will let you know where they are in the home purchase or home sales process. A really easy way to do this is to get some scripts or get some templates that have been working for an extended amount of time and adapt them into your very own business. Now, lastly, it's about getting these leads to convert. Let's be honest, the statistics say that more than 50% of buyers or sellers when submitting their information never get contacted by an agent at all. If you have systems in place that will allow you to not only interact with them immediately, but also stay involved with them for the long term, it will drastically change the life and longevity of your business. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the article. My name is Anthony Mann, president of A Social Strategy.